How to create an Old West Wanted poster in DaVinci Resolve 18.1.4 To create the effect from this tutorial, you will require a video or image with a solid colour background such as green screen. Inside your Projects Edits window, go to Effects and underneath Toolbox select Generators. Go to click and drag a Paper Fusion Generator edit to your timeline. Select the new paper edit, hold it in control or command if you're a Mac user and press D to alter the duration of your clip if you wish. With this paper clip selected, go to Inspector and underneath Generator, increase the saturation value to 0.72 to add a light brown texture to your paper canvas. Hold in control and press I to insert your chosen video clip or image. In the Media Pool Master Bin, Click and drag the thumbnail of your inserted video clip or image to your project timeline, placing this in the video track directly above your paper edit. Using the selection mode tool which you can also do by pressing A to quickly manually change the length of either the paper or video or image still that you have inserted by clicking and dragging at the end of the edit. Right click on your newly inserted video or image edit and go to open in Fusion page. With Media In 1 selected inside your Fusion Node section, hold in Shift and press Space to open up the Select Tool window. Use the search box at the bottom to find the Ultra Keyer tool. Select this and go to click on Add. We will use this newly inserted tool to remove the green screen background. Click on either the left or right view options underneath your tools so that you can see a preview of your project as you work throughout this tutorial. With Ultra Key selected, go to Inspector and underneath pre mat click on the picker icon next to Background Colour, hold your mouse button down and drag this to the solid colour background behind your subject in the video preview. Let go of the mouse button once the solid colour disappears. If you see a faint outline appearing around your subject, drag the picker towards this so that this is selected and removed also to add transparency around your whole subject. If you wish to adjust the position and size of the subject that will go onto your wanted poster, with Ultra Key selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Transform XF tool. Under Inspector and Controls, adjust the horizontal and vertical positioning of your subject with center X and Y respectively. The size can also be manipulated in the Transform properties. With your Transform tool still selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a watercolour node. We will use this node to apply a gentle blur and sketch effect to our wanted subject. With channels set to luminance only, I will adjust the smoothness value to 0.00015 to avoid adding too much distortion to our subject. With watercolour still selected, hold and shift and press space and go to add brightness contrast. With this new tool selected, go to Inspector and underneath Controls, first set the saturation level to zero to apply a grayscale effect to your subject. Then adjust the other five properties above saturation depending on your subject. If you are using a video clip that you wish to extract a still from for your wanted poster effect, you can first preview the clip with the play button or use your mouse cursor to skip through the frames until you identify the still that you wish to have on your final effect. In this particular example here, I will use frame 135 in my final video effect to go onto my wanted poster. And I will adjust the properties for the brightness and contrast tool to ensure that the outline and detail of the subject is clear enough. Use the gain property to adjust the lighter sections of your subject. Gamma will adjust midtones whilst Lift will enable you to make the darker sections more prominent. Increasing the contrast will make the darker areas stand out more from the whiter areas. Now to add the text and stars to your wanted clip. With brightness and contrast still selected, hold in Shift and press Space, and go to add a Merge tool, which should be automatically connected via the yellow background arrow to brightness and contrast. Deselect your nodes by clicking anywhere on the empty nodes grid, Hold in Shift and press Space and go to add an S star tool. Then with S star selected, add S duplicate, followed by S render so that the stars can be processed by DaVinci Resolve for your final video. 
Then add another merge tool to SRender so that we can connect the text to your final video afterwards. Click and hold your mouse button on the grey box alongside Merge 2 and drag this to the green foreground arrow of Merge 1 to make a connection. To change the star colour with S star selected, go to Inspector, select Style and double click on the box next to colour to choose black. Click OK and underneath Controls adjust points from 6 to 5. Change Depth to 0.465. Adjust the width and height of the star as you wish. Here in this example, I will change the value for these two properties to 0.1. And to ensure that the upper point is facing directly upwards, adjust angle to 90. Select the S duplicate node. I wish for five stars to appear in total, and therefore I will increment the copy's value to four. To spread the stars out from one another horizontally, adjust the X offset value. Here in this example, I will shift the duplicates to the right by incrementing this value from 0 to 0 0.1. Return to S star and adjust the X and Y offset values if you wish to change the position of this new star alignment. Deselect your nodes and go to add a text node by clicking on the T icon above the node's grid. Connect this new node to the foreground arrow of Merge 2. With this new text node selected, Go to Inspector and underneath Text, type in the message that you wish to have appear on your poster. To maintain an old western style, I will use the font Playbill. Double click on the colour box below and select black from the basic colours options. Click OK. Adjust the size as you wish. And to change the position of your text, go to Layout and change the location of your text by adjusting the center X and Y properties. If you wish to change both the text and the stars simultaneously, select Merge 2 and go to add a new Transform XF node between this and the Merge 1 node, which you can use to change the position and size of both the text and the stars simultaneously. Return to your Edits window. With your video clip selected, go to Inspector and underneath Video, scroll down to Composite, change Composite mode from Normal to Hard Light. And to ensure that this particular still remains on my video clip, with the red playhead in place, I will right click on the video clip and choose Change Clip Speed. In the new window that appears, I will tick Freeze Frame and click Change. You can now use the Blade Edit mode to trim the paper clip below by selecting this tool and clicking in line with the red playhead, and then using the Selection Mode tool to highlight any edits that you wish to remove by pressing Backspace or Delete. The timer icon on the left side of the edit means that this particular clip stores the frozen frame. What we need to do now is to remove the remaining white shade of the subject for our wanted poster. In order to do this, open up the colour page, ensure that the custom curve setting is open, and that your edited video clip thumbnail is selected just below the preview. Dragging the top right node further down will decrease the amount of white shade which appears on your subject and dragging the bottom left node horizontally will affect the amount of dark shade which appears on our subject. Adjust these two nodes until you are satisfied with the appearance of your subject. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that video was useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video, take care.